Russell Tours has providing hikers with beautiful places to go since 1991. Our primary focus has been the European Alps. We like the Alps because they provide a wide variety of hiking opportunities and they're just simply gorgeous and provide all the kind of great outdoor feeling that people are looking for. We like to start at the Geneva Airport and at the Geneva Airport and it's a simple uh, hour and a half car ride into Chamonix. And Chamonix is our base point to start because it provides a great setting with just some incredible mountains, kind of at the beginning of the range. If you look up this valley here, you can see the white taking you all the way up and the different areas that we go to. And what I want to talk about today is a three culture hike and is your ability to have and enjoy all the great settings without having to make a commitment to 21 or 31 days, which is what it would take to do these otherwise. I'm going to pick on one of my clients right now and use their tour that we've set up for them. So you can see how you can do this. They can do this in seven, nine, 11, 15 day chunks and enjoy all the great hiking without having to schlep between different huts and uh, suffer the outdoor exposure of long hiking days. We take you back into a beautiful hotel in a great setting. Chamonix is a lovely city. It is a French city, so you have tremendous food there. We bring you into the Heliopic Hotel and Spa. This is one of the nicer places on the planet to come to uh, because it is uh, designed to be rustic and yet it gives you all of the great setting of being in the mountains and French food and so forth. And it's at the base of Mont Blanc. And you can see this beautiful mountain here, how great that is. There are cable cars going up. And this yellow line along the side here takes us out to a lovely little restaurant. So when you first come into town, you'll have a couple of hours in the afternoon the first day. And we recommend a good hike up here. It's about an hour and a half up to this ridge. And this ridge really is a really tremendous ridge where it takes you to the Augile de Druze, this Druze needle. And you can see here right in front of you is the uh, ice flows and uh, crevices from tremendous years of uh, erosion. So the next day when you get up, you can actually go out and do part of the, uh, what would be the Tour de Mont Blanc, that is the 10 day tour around the city. And you start by taking a cable car out of the downtown area up to the Flagueur. And then it's a nine or 10 hour walk and you can cut it short and take another to a, a lift back down to the village and come into Les Uches. So there you're able to have a nice view all day long, hiking along, a tremendous feeling of being outdoors and enjoying the setting that we have here for you. The next day, we would recommend you take the cable car up and over the Oguil de Midi and get into Italy and go into uh, Cordemaiar. Cordemaiar is the Italian luxury uh, uh, ski resort and there's also a tunnel that comes out which you can take instead if you don't wish to go by cable car. We then take you uh, the first night out to um, the Refugio Elisabetta. This is one of those beautiful stone uh, houses sitting out on the uh, uh, Tour de Mont Blanc. So you're again part of the Tour de Mont Blanc for a day and enjoying that setting. And then the next day you come back to Hotel Wasler where you can have a beautiful spa setting great uh, food, great Italian food this time. So now you're experiencing the different cultures. There are literally 10 more little uh, uh, huts and hotels along the way. If you wish to do this loop, we do that as well. But the goal of this uh, uh, video is to kind of show you some different ideas about how you might enjoy your stay in the European uh, area. The next day we take you by car up to this area where you go to the Valsuri cabin. So this is um, a four hour walk up and then a four hour walk back. 
and it's a beautiful hike up to a uh, cabine on the, on the side of a mountain and Borg St. Pierre. We have your luggage moved for you and then you uh, come back down, we pick you up and take you to Verbier. Again, what we're trying to do is have you enjoy the French, Italian, and Swiss, French and Swiss, German, and Swiss, Italian settings so that you can really get a good sense of uh, these different cultures and the food and really have fun and yet not give up any of the hiking. The hiking is here. So the next day you would come to our hotel, the Bristol in Verbier, and uh, you can hike up to Montfort. Now in Montfort, there is a cabane. We could stay there if you'd like to do that. And again, the flexibility of this is to enjoy. If you look at the Montfort setting though, you are on top of the world. Now there may be some ice fields. You're hiking hopefully in the summertime. You shouldn't experience too much difficulty. The idea is to have moderate to easy hiking. We do provide uh, more difficult, more involved hiking if you'd like, but this is just an example of how to enjoy the Alps without having to uh, be in a marathon every day. So then we take you from uh, Verbier and we uh, go over to Zermatt. So Zermatt is a lovely area that has uh, the mountain called the Matterhorn. And the Matterhorn Trail is this wonderful trail that takes you up onto the mountain. So you're actually on the mountain and able to see all of this great setting here. You can see the Matterhorns right there in front of you. And this is a carless city, so it's only electric vehicles. Uh, you can get a ride into town, into this area, but then you must take the tram into town. And so we have a variety of great loops and hikes that you can go on here and enjoy this setting. After two or three days in this area, we like to take you over to Verbier. So now we're getting into more of the German area, I'm sorry, into Wengen. And so now we're getting into more of the German area. And Wangen is this lovely area that allows you to see the Eiger. The Eiger is one of the most dramatic mountains. You can see it there. It's just overshadowing everything. There's some lovely hikes here. We take you up to a little chalet uh, called the Berghaus Alpenglen. Uh, the owner is also a restaurant owner in town. But you live underneath the roof of this great uh, dome, famous, uh, the Eiger is famous in many movies. And uh, then we put you onto some trails which can go across the valley. And the idea of these trails is to have you see the Eiger from the other side. So you would hike up to Schwarzhorn and around, and then there's a cliff walk, which is a, a fenced in walk overlooking a very large. Uh, cliff area. You can see the dramatic drop that's there. And then the next day you can go over to the Chalet Schwarzstab, which is a lovely Swiss style uh, hotel out in uh, the mountains and have a wonderful Swiss food there. And then your next day back into Wangen. And in Wangen you would then go over to the waterfalls and see the uh, lovely areas of the Kleinschwab, and uh, this is uh, an area that's just full of trails. They love to hike here, and every area has its own unique thing. For example, the city of Muren is up here along the ridge. And so this is a city that has no cars, and you can get a tram up to it from town, from down below. Or you can walk up the valley and see the dramatic waterfalls that are all along here and enjoy the green uh, valley. So this is an example of how you might construct a 7, 10, 15 day, 20 day tour without feeling compelled to go uh, mile after mile down a tour of a one loop, one loop. And you can make this a very varied and enjoy the different cultures. I hope this has been helpful for you to see what is available 
and I would love to help you. Please give us a call or set up a time, send us an email. My name's Tori Russell, and thank you for your time.